Okay, so welcome to Beijing and the hutongs, the old areas here in Beijing. Some of these were raised before, but they have left some of them untouched, fortunately. So very beautiful to walk around. Get a lot of questions here normally, how I can eat so much food without you know, getting fat or gaining weight. And one answer is that I try to stay very active out walking like now, <clears throat> exploring. And people are screaming in the background. But basically I try to every day get in 10,000 steps or you know, bike the corresponding um, distance basically. Oh, and we have people playing traditional cards here in the background. Very nice. Sitting outside, get to stay away from the cars. A lot of action going on. But basically every day, of course I understand not everyone can work uh, or <laughs> go to work. But basically I try to walk to work or a bike if possible. Uh, Otherwise, you know, if you take the subway or bus, something like that, maybe you can get off or get on one station a little bit earlier to do that. But basically, staying active. So, of course, uh, I eat a lot because my body has become used to that I burn a lot of energy. So, if you have a problem with that, I think one step is just to be more active. But then also, just before this, I had a huge <laughs> meal. I will show you a bit in the background here, like Hunan food, really spicy. I really love spicy food. So, when I actually pick what to eat for example i did not have any rice here no noodles so i keep my carbs quite low especially for lunch and also for breakfast actually a lot of people eat you know a lot of maybe bread or things like that in the morning i tend to skip that um, because basically protein and carbs have the same amount of calories per per gram and what i also try to do is basically to use my food that I eat, the calories, to build muscle. Not because I want to be like huge, some you know, crazy big bodybuilder, but actually because muscles are sort of expensive for the body to maintain, so they burn calories. So if I can get stronger in the gym, I can actually eat more. So that's just a great tip, I think, to make sure that you feel the body, you, you build up so you can actually eat and enjoy more. So yeah, I'm gonna walk a little bit more and see you soon. You have a lot of these really cool, you know, gates and old ornaments here when you're walking around. You really get the kind of the nice feeling of the old Beijing here. But I also wanted to mention that when I actually pick sort of what to eat, the, the protein sources essentially for the meal, I tend to go for the, the more lean cut, so basically less fat. So, you know, chicken, um, you know, fish is actually great, and like shrimp, seafood, but I don't eat that that much. It's good if you like it. Beef, uh, beef has more fat definitely than chicken most of the time, but I skip, for example, mostly pork. I mean, it tastes great, but that's how I kind of think about it for most meals. Of course, you can enjoy like today on the weekend or something, but let's say 80% of the time, I try to eat, for example, chicken or, or you know, beef, but not too much, not to go too crazy. And that's the way to at least minimize the fat from the meat. Then, of course, you probably have a lot of you know, oil and sauces, things like that, but you can save those calories for that instead, instead of getting it from the, the meat sources. Now I realize, actually, I've been here before. I made another video, another hutong video, actually, when I was having breakfast down here in the background. Uh, and just actually on the topic, I realized, you know, when I eat, most of the time, actually, I cook my own you know, breakfast uh, or, or, and dinner, for that matter. I eat lunch normally out like a salad. But when you eat, I try to have more fiber in my food and more unprocessed food. Because I remember actually when I was eating breakfast in that place, it was, you know, a lot of bread, um, basically no fiber, a lot of processed things. Then you don't feel as full that longer. So I try to get my vegetables in. For example, I have like omelette with eggs and spinach in the morning, maybe mushrooms. Otherwise, you basically, blood sugar spikes, you digest it very fast. If you have like, you know, maybe just white rice or something like that. Then you get hungry just a few hours later. So I try to have more um, whole grain, fiber rich uh, foods basically in my food to make sure I don't get hungry in between meals. And another thing is actually, I had this really greasy meal here. Wow, it's a really beautiful gate here in the background. I had this really greasy meal here, as you can see for lunch, very low carbs, but then the, the body can still digest that. So basically, there's a lot of protein and fats that digest very slowly. So I'm probably not gonna be hungry again, actually, until dinner, which is great, of course. But if you have really fast digesting carbs, you know, as mentioned, it goes up like this and you get hungry in one or two hours. So that's a tip. So I try to avoid that for lunch so I don't get this kind of food coma after lunch. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find some coffee or, or something like that and sit down. It's a very nice area and nice weather to walk around today. So I just walked past this place here. You can buy these kind of small bread things here 
and noodles of course taste amazing but that's example of processed food that I try to avoid and there's a lot of noise in the background again because basically you get full it feels great you get this melatonin by then like one hour later you're really hungry uh, and also it's mostly just carbs and fat inside but basically no protein so if you want to get stronger and build muscle and you know once again increase your metabolism so you burn more muscle or <laughs> burn more calories with your muscle that is probably not what you want to eat you can have some of course it's not bad but if that's most what you eat then it's probably not a good idea once again so many amazing things here in the background you have the noodles and the skewers and it's not that things are you know bad or you can't eat them it's all about balance i mean that lunch i had today was pretty crazy so for example today i had a quite small breakfast you know some yogurt and some seeds and a fruit then you can kind of make room for that so you're just gonna know your daily allotment of calories in a way and play around with it and i try to prioritize protein but then the rest is okay um, but just increase your activity level so continuing walking here i just found a nice coffee shop location i'm gonna go there and check it out hope i can find it wow this is looking fancy and nice here really nice lighting let's go and check it out Smells good, that's for sure. Wow, really nice in here. I think I'm gonna pick a bit of a corner seat here in the back, overlooking this kind of coffee bar. A lot of cool spot, that's for sure. Let's sit down here. Ooh, that's a pretty cool alley down there. Interesting spots. Let's sit down. Let me outside then. Okay, so see. Yeah, of course, there's no menu. You have to scan the QR code on the table and pick it in the app. Welcome to China. Yeah, they definitely have a lot of fancy stuff on the menu here, but I'm gonna keep it simple with a black ice americano. And that's actually another tip coffee, if you have cappuccino stuff, can have a lot of calories, you know, 100, 200, depending on if it's like sugar and stuff inside, syrup. But black coffee doesn't have any calories, so I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna pick this one. Irga Chef Red Cherry, very interesting, no clue what that is, but no calories and I'm sure it's going to taste nice. Nice, so we got the coffee here, piping hot as you can see, I'm going to pour out a little bit here. Nice, doesn't look that strong actually, but let's try it out. Mm. Definitely light, but very nice. Ah, just going to enjoy this a little bit. Coffee is also actually really good to suppress your appetite. So if you're fasting in the morning or if you get hungry like in the afternoon, you can drink coffee. It doesn't have any calories to actually push sort of the hunger to the future. So that's a, another tip I have. Mm, very nice. And also, you know, diet sodas and not everyone loves them, but that's another tip. Or also if you want to have snacks, go for healthy snacks. So probably when I get back here, it's going to be like 3, 4 p.m. It's going to be a few hours of dinner. And I'm going to have just like an apple quite filling a lot of fiber, a lot of good nutrients. That's also a good way to make sure you stay full. Yes, yeah, so after all of this kind of diet talk and food and coffee and pushing your hunger, what is my plan? Well, actually I was like in October last year, I was out on a trip in Ghana traveling around and I might go on a trip soon. And on those trips, you tend to gain weight, but I like to eat a lot. And at that point I was eating too little, I think. So my weight was like up at 82 kilos. It went up from like 75 to 80 plus 80 plus actually doing that trip and that's not great but now i've increased my metabolism i'm eating like a big breakfast lunch and dinner so my plan is actually to stay in shape but also add on a little bit of calories over time and go to the gym to build up muscle so right now i'm like 71 kilos i think i want to go up and build up to like 75 so use those calories and put all the protein to good use but with that being said let me know how you're thinking about this if you want to see more let me know i'm gonna enjoy this nice little coffee here but if you want to have more tips and see weird things here in Benin, let me know. If so, give me a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Yes, yeah, a bit of a bonus after here. I just wanted to mention if you have the ways around here in Beijing, check out this place, Metal Hands. Super nice. You have all these like, cool background here with a nice lighting, a really cozy spot. Highly recommended. So if you're around, check it out. Another tip I actually forgot to mention a bit of a bonus as well is if you eat a lot of greasy and oily food like I did here today, a lot of the oil is actually absorbed in the vegetables so you think it's healthy because it's only vegetable it's not like you know carbs or meat but actually if you eat all of that you get a lot of the oil and if you put oil into things or deep fry it can absorb like 50 to 65 percent more calories actually even though you think it's healthy so basically avoid eating a lot of that if you don't really enjoy it uh, if you if, if you want to cut down the calories it's just kind of a bonus tip